electrical fire in our home. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Telecom Dog, Travel Tech and Talk. Today's video covers a very serious and dangerous topic, an electrical fire which happened in our home in the early hours of the morning. This video will cover a description of that event, how we reacted, what we think caused the fire, and what we learned from this. But before we get started, don't forget subscribe. That's the way you thank us for all the hard work we do of making these videos. So here we go. A description of the event. We woke up at 6 a.m. on a normal weekday. That means a school day so Novi was going through her morning routine. I got up a little earlier than usual and so I stuck an earphone in my ear and then I turned on the computer. I didn't want to wake up Mary Lou because she still had a few more minutes that she could sleep. So I stuck the earphone in my ear, I turned on the computer and I started watching. A short while later, Mary Lou got up out of bed and she started her morning routine which starts with cooking breakfast. I remained in bed and while I was lying down I thought I heard a, um, a crackling noise, that, that staticky noise you hear when uh, something is shorting out. I had an earphone in one ear and I didn't have one in the other ear so it's kind of hard to tell where the sound was coming from. So I set up to have a look at the computer. I thought perhaps uh, it's coming from there. And as I set up, Mary Lou and Novi walked into the room. Mary Lou said, there's a fire. And I turned around and I looked behind me because that's where she pointed. And up, higher up on the wall, where the electrical panels, uh, the breakers, are in the bedroom, that was on fire. There's a double breaker set, two breakers, one small box on top of the other one, and the top one was on fire. I told Mary Lou to grab a towel. There was one right there on the table beside her. So she grabbed the towel and she beat the fire out. She beat the top fire with the dry towel until the fire went out. She smothered it that way. And then we sat down and we discussed what had just happened. We talked for a while and Mary Lou told me that the refrigerator had gone out and her electric oven uh, was displaying an error message on a, on a display, on a, on a digital display. And we talked about that for a couple minutes and then we decided maybe she should go over and see the caretaker. We're renting this house, so she went to tell the caretaker who lives maybe a couple hundred, two or three hundred yards away from here. In about uh, 15 minutes, she returned with the caretaker in tow and a young man who does electrical work for the uh, caretaker. He looked at the uh, breaker boxes took out his uh, screwdriver, got up and and uh, pulled them down, took them off the wall. And here we have it. This young man is replacing the breaker boxes in the house. Um, standing on a chair is... Uh, beyond my means these days so sometimes you have to bring in a little bit of a helper we'll get a video of this when he's complete but he's doing an excellent job so far um, hard worker like most of the ones are and Mary Lou went to the hardware store where she promptly purchased two breakers and some electrical tape Uh, shortly thereafter, the uh, caretaker and the electrician returned back to the house and he commenced to install the breakers. 
the installation process probably took no longer than 30 minutes. And so here we are in the bedroom where the electrical junction is. The um, two white boxes off to the left here, my left I guess, are breakers. And my understanding or my estimation of what happened was possibly there was an electrical surge. The breakers didn't trip and close the circuit. So uh, that caused a spark and there was a fire. As you can see on the top box, that's what caught fire. There's black uh, smoke burns around it, smoke damage. And so that's what was on fire. We took a towel and beat the fire till the fire went out. Towel has a little burn marks. It's no better for the wear at all. For roughly $22, we replaced those um, boxes. And we also paid the young man who did the work uh, 500 pesos, which is roughly $10, 10 US. What do I think caused the fire? I'm guessing, I'm, I'm a far shot away from an electrician. Um, I'm going to say I think perhaps there was an electrical surge a power surge and the breaker box fuse system failed it didn't automatically shut off it didn't break the electrical circuit the electrical charge and the uh, breaker box caught on fire with white plastic and so it uh, caught on fire that's what I believe happened I'd like to make a couple of side notes side comments here. <laughs> the first is what I learned from all this. I think I need four fire alarms, you know the little circular ones that you stick on the ceiling, and maybe two small fire extinguishers. Something I already knew but was certainly reinforced here, emergency preparedness. It is always good to prepare for emergencies. I know some people don't like to do that. Some people think uh, it brings bad luck and some people just don't want to think about it and, until it happens. But I think being prepared for an emergency is a good thing. I want to say when we when I turned around and I saw the fire, uh, one of the thoughts that passed, in, passed through my mind was, uh, maybe we should just get out of here, walk out of the house and run. I did that and then I looked around and I saw the uh, go bag that I had prepared for the volcano eruptions. For those of you who haven't seen it, I strongly, strongly suggest you see the video that I made actually a few weeks ago about a volcano eruption preparedness, what to do in case of a volcano. And part of it was to prepare a go bag something that has all your important papers in it and enough for you to survive if you have to run out of your house in a case of an emergency and enough things for you to survive on for two or three days. So I looked in the corner and there it was all packed. So if I wanted to I could have grabbed that and that had all the things that are mentioned in that video you know passports, uh, money, phone numbers, all kind of stuff. That was an option but I looked and I saw that uh, the fire was fairly small and that we could handle it but if worse came to worse and it got out of hand I knew we could grab our go bags and run out of the house so we tried to put the fire out with the towel and we were successful in that uh, in that matter another bit of thought that I've had since the fire I I like that many of the homes in the Philippines are made of brick or cement. I find that, do I believe that to be kind of fire resistant, pretty fire resistant. So most of the house is made of brick. Sometimes you do find that the internal roof is either wood or some kind of composite, which of course is flammable. But the walls and stuff like that, harder to um, catch on fire. And in this case, that was very helpful. 
we have wallpaper on the wall here. And when we were doing that, I was suggesting to Mary Lou that we leave a little space around the uh, electrical panels where the electricity comes in, the breaker boxes, just in case there was some kind of uh, electrical short and it started sparking, the fire would have a little ways to jump before it hit the paper. Uh, like I said, I believe the brick to be fairly fire resistant. And so I thought if we could just put a little space there, that would be helpful. And I guess uh, intuition. Sometimes it is pretty good to listen to your inner self. You know what you're talking about sometimes. So there you have it. An electrical fire in our home. Don't forget to click on a notification bell icon. That way, the moment we upload a video, you'll know. We try and upload several videos a week, and we would like you to be able to see them as soon as they're available. See you in the next video.